There was a time where I was sipping lean, I was popping pills, I was doing molly, um, you know, shrooms. The bad boy. Oh, he's bad boy now. Oh, <laughs> your eye count alert. <laughs> it's called He's Bad Boy Now. Justin Bieber has officially run out of patience. His recent outburst regarding Diddy is a dead giveaway. He is here with substantial evidence of all the abuse he went through at the hands of Diddy. It looks like Diddy is asking him if he has a wire. Justin says no. Then Diddy checks to see if he has a wire. Yo, this is some sick shit, man. Just a heads up that this might be too triggering for some. But that is all the warning you get before we jump right into what Justin Bieber has to say about his ex-mentor Diddy. In the recent months, Diddy has garnered a lot of negative attention. Many of his victims have come forward with their own plethora of allegations. Maybe this is why Justin sensed it was time to break the silence, too. At just 16 years old, Justin found himself under Diddy's close scrutiny, a position that many now view with alarm. You ain't, you ain't been calling me and hanging out the way we used to hang out. Well, I mean, you haven't... I mean, you try to get in contact with me, you know, through all my, you know, business, you know, partners and whatnot. Mm -hmm. but and yet, amid the chaos, Diddy remained a powerful force in the industry for years, his influence seemingly undiminished by the allegations swirling around him. A resurfaced video served as the catalyst for Justin's revelation, revealing unsettling interactions between a younger Justin and Diddy. In this footage, Diddy can be seen boasting about spending 48 hours with the then 15-year-old Justin. The setting is lavish, the promise is grandiose, but we all know what that means. Showing off his money was his trick to woo people into his trap. You know, where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Um, Amidst the glamour of luxury cars and promises of wild adventures, Diddy's words took on a haunting resonance. Throughout the video, Justin Bieber smiled nervously. The casual mention of 48 hours, with a minor raised to uncomfortable questions. Though the video is from before, in the light of recent allegations, it showcased how Diddy would take younger artists under his wing in the name of mentorship and abuse them. But what was the nature of this abuse? How did someone as seemingly powerful as Diddy manage to exert control over a rising star like Justin Bieber? As Justin's story unfolded, it became clear that the abuse he endured was more than just physical. It was psychological, emotional, and deeply manipulative. From the outside, they appeared as mentor and dementee, but behind closed doors, the dynamics were anything but benevolent. After that, the two seemed to form a close bond. Nobody knew exactly how close. One particularly viral video showcased a teenage Bieber dancing alongside Diddy and The Game at what appeared to be a listening party. In the footage, Diddy handed Justin a bottle of alcohol, prompting outrage as Justin was allegedly underage at the time. The bad boy. Oh, he's bad boy now. <laughs> the video painted a troubling picture of Diddy's interactions with Justin, with scenes of Diddy patting down the young star's chest and pressuring him to keep his distance. Commenters flooded the video, decrying the perceived exploitation of the young pop star, with accusations of repeated harassment and predation. The unsettling nature of these videos has not gone unnoticed by netizens. Many have described them as creepy, my disturbing, and uncomfortable. But Diddy couldn't care less. Maybe because this isn't a surprise to him. Abusing young artists in the name of mentorship seems to be one of his kinks. Take Usher, for example, who has also opened up about his early days in the music industry, revealing that he lived with Diddy in New York City for a year. This arrangement, orchestrated by L.A. Reed brought the then-teenage R&B singer to the East Coast for what Stern jokingly referred to as Puffy Flavor Camp. Despite the glamorous image associated with Diddy's lifestyle in the 90s, Usher described his experience as curious rather than wild. He admitted to witnessing some unconventional things during his time there, but at the age of 13, he struggled to fully comprehend the environment around him. When asked if anyone tried to involve him in inappropriate activities, Usher responded diplomatically, acknowledging the presence of curious occurrences without explicitly confirming any wrongdoing. There were, there were a lot of things I seen 
and uh, a lot of positions that I think I was put in where I had to make very, very tough decisions in my life about who I would. He recounted encounters with industry heavyweights like Biggie Smalls, Lil Kim, Craig Mack, Faith Evans, Joe DC, and Mary J. Blige, highlighting the star-studded atmosphere of Diddy's gatherings. Despite his youthful innocence, Usher's parents were unaware of the nature of his experiences while living with Diddy. Reflecting on his time there, Usher emphasized that he went to observe the lifestyle rather than partake in it fully. He said, I went there to see the lifestyle, and I saw it, and it was but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. Justin might have broken his silence now, but many artists like Usher have tried to expose Diddy, and that number is increasing exponentially. Maybe this is why Diddy, once a revered figure in the music industry, now faces serious allegations of sexual assault and trafficking, but the controversy surrounding Diddy extends far beyond this recent revelation. Accusations of sexual assault and exploitation have cast a long shadow over his career, staining his once glistening reputation. But Cassie's courage was just the beginning. As the floodgates of accusation opened, more individuals stepped forward to share their own harrowing tales of abuse at the hands of the rap titan. Among them was music producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones, whose accusations of sexual assault added fuel to the raging inferno of scandal engulfing Diddy's reputation. As if one round of allegations wasn't enough, the storm intensified when Lal Jones, now also known as the producer and videographer of the Love Album, came forward with yet another bombshell accusation against Diddy. This time, it was sexual assault during the production of the album, casting a dark shadow over what should have been a triumphant moment in Diddy's storied career. What's worse is that all his allegations aren't of sexual nature. Diddy has been obstacle for the co-artists in the professional space too. The allegations against Diddy and Pharrell, as detailed by Kellis, Mays, and other sources, paint a troubling picture of exploitation within the music industry. Mays, known for his collaboration with Notorious B.I.G. on Mo Money Mo Problems, revealed his ongoing struggles with Diddy and the Bad Boy record label. In an Instagram post, Mays accused Diddy of purposefully withholding fair compensation and exploiting his artists. Mace went on to explain that he had continued not to say anything to Diddy because he had wanted to wait until he was in a strong financial place so that he didn't seem like he was addressing the issue out of spite. All the things I escaped, the car, the, the shine, the moon, of Daddy. According to Mace, just a few days ago, he had offered Diddy $2 million for the publishing rights Diddy had paid $20,000 for, but Diddy had said that Mace would need to match what a European bidder was offering in order to get his publishing rights back. Otherwise, Mace would have to wait until the rights reverted back to him in eight years. The weight of these allegations bore down heavily on Diddy's shoulders, dragging his once illustrious reputation through the mud and raising serious questions about his behavior and character. With the outcome of these legal battles hanging in the balance, uncertainty looms large over Diddy's future, threatening to derail his life and career in ways he never could have imagined. Yet, in the face of mounting allegations, Diddy remains defiant. He vehemently denies any wrongdoing, labeling the accusations as sickening and attributing them to opportunism rather than truth. Will Diddy succumb to the increasing burden of allegations, or will he escape like the sleazeball he is? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you don't want to miss out on the hottest celebrity news, make sure to subscribe to Pop Plug. And if you want to know about the latest Hollywood divorce update about Justin and Haley's heartbreaking split, watch this next video.